Homeless camps are a hot topic in Albuquerque lately. Target 7's John Cardinelli has an update on one woman who we've spoken to who lives right across the street from a camp. In May, Target 7 brought you the story of a woman who was featured on Extreme Home Makeover 14 years ago. They used to house homeless people on their property, but those they were housing started taking advantage of them, so they stopped. Now, a homeless camp keeps popping up across the street, and she says nothing's being done. This is what's across the street from Lisa Reese's home. They waited out, and then they just moved back in. So, all of that for nothing. A homeless camp on private property. And now, the homeless are coming on to her property. This woman went into the house and stayed in a couple of our beds. In this video, you can see what she's talking about. I've talked to her. I said, don't ever do that again, and she said, yes, ma'am. It's unclear where the woman lives, but Reese says the last time she called 911 about the camp across from her home, she was told the police will not remove it and to call 311 instead. And I thought, okay, so nobody has the authority to ask someone to move off of private property anymore. Target 7 reached out to APD about their policy with homeless camps. In a statement, they said, quote, the reason people are asked to call 311 is because solid waste is primarily responsible for cleaning up encampments. FCS, along with ACS, also assists with outreach and resources. If there is illegal activity, officers will cite or arrest depending on what criminal offense is established. But listen to what Mayor Tim Keller had to say during his State of the City address on Saturday. We will not round up people. We will not force people onto a bus. We will not arrest people who have not committed an arrestable crime. We will not pull your officers off your 911 calls for somebody passed out under a tree. Under New Mexico state law, camping on private property can be an arrestable offense. It becomes a crime, a misdemeanor of trespass, criminal trespass when Someone's on property that they know doesn't belong to them and they don't have permission to be there. City Councilor Louis Sanchez says until arrests are made for trespassing, nothing will change. We have to make arrests at the lowest level so that we can find the individuals who need the help and need the support from all the services that we have. Recently, the City Council voted to pass designated homeless camps around town. Just last week, Councilor Brooke Bassan, who sponsored the legislation, asked for it to be repealed. I was under the impression that that would mean that we were going to begin enforcing the existing laws in Albuquerque. And it's come to my attention through other press conferences and media releases that uh, have made me feel that I don't think that it's necessarily the intention of the administration to start enforcing those laws when it comes to overnight camping, trespassing, and loitering. And homeless people Target 7 has spoken to don't want to be placed in designated areas. I don't, I don't, I don't like to go by the ball rules or nothing like that too much, you know. Raymond Pineda lives across the street from Reese's home. He's been homeless for five years. He says if he had a creative space to live, he'd stop camping on different properties. I have a creative mind, you know, that'd be great. Reese agrees. When I see it in my mind, I visualize something like the rail yards where they could set up a welder and a, and a studio that, that would collaborate and make something beautiful instead of just here, go live in a tent type thing. About five years ago, APD developed a policy to not jail people on lower level offenses after they settled a decades old lawsuit from a man who died in jail. Under that agreement, they're supposed to cite people for nonviolent misdemeanors instead. For Target 7, I'm John Cardinelli. Well, a brief trend toward uh, the weekend with drier.